Welcome to the Psychedelic Classroom. Today we will be discussing psilocybin and the default mode network. We do not condone the misuse of illegal substances, but support the research of all substances for medical research. Psilocybin mushrooms are a fungi that contain a mind-altering psychedelic compound. With little known of the biological impacts, the scientific community has become interested in researching its potential healing impacts. In early civilizations such as the Aztec, psilocybin mushrooms were used during religious ceremonies. They called it God's flesh because they believed this would give them visions from God. During the 60s, research began on psilocybin, but due to the increase of misuse, awareness of drug abuse rose. In 1971, research stalled due to the Controlled Substance Act, which categorized and listed psilocybin as a Schedule I narcotic, based on its potential abuse. In the early 2000s, research resumed, leading to many other institutions around the world engaging in further research. This soon influenced scientists in the United States, where the FDA approved clinical trials to be done here in 2018. When ingested, 50% of psilocybin is rapidly dephosphorylated into the active drug psilocin. The other 50% is further converted to three metabolites or left untouched as psilocybin. Only psilocin goes to the brain, the rest is excreted from the body three hours after ingestion. In the brain, psilocin alters the default mode network or DMN. This is composed of a cohort of smaller neuroconnections, including the medial prefrontal cortex, posterior cingulate cortex, anterior cingulate cortex, hypothalamus, amygdala, hippocampus, and thalamus. A significant increase or drastic decrease of normal DMN activity has been linked to neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's, autism, schizophrenia, bipolar disorders, post-traumatic stress disorders, and depression. At the receptor level, psilocybin interacts with serotonin receptors 5-HT1A, 5-HT1D, 5-HT2A, and 5-HT2C. The highest affinity is to 5-HT2A. In a study conducted in 2006, nine patients with obsessive compulsive disorder were administered four different doses of psilocybin at least one week apart. 88.9% of patients showed a decrease in symptoms after one day. A 10-patient study was conducted to investigate how psilocybin could potentially treat alcohol dependence. The subjects were provided motivational enhancement therapy for four weeks, followed by the first dose of psilocybin. A second dose was given after four additional weeks. Patients all had a significant decrease in alcohol use after dosage. The amount of drinking days decreased by 27.2%, and heavy drinking days decreased by 26%. Another study on addiction was conducted to examine the impact of psilocybin with tobacco addicts. The sample of 15 participants enrolled in a 15-week course with psilocybin administered at weeks 5, 7, and 13. The promising results of the study was that 80% of the participants stayed sober at the six-month follow-up. A study was conducted of low-dosage psilocybin on terminally ill patients in order to manage anxiety disorders. Twelve patients showed a significant decrease the first and third month. Mood improved for two weeks and reached statistical significance at the six-month point. Once again, we do not condone the misuse of illegal substances, but support the research of all substances for medical research. Thank you so much for attending the Psychedelic Classroom. Peace out.